It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Bee media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Well, good evening and a very hearty welcome to another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. Now, this is a show that's been designed to help you keep up with what's going on in local television, what's happening in local radio, and occasionally look at uh, the film world here. Now, uh, the network programming has started rolling out over the last few weeks, and that means there's a lot more new TV shows to look at. I, I don't know about you, but that is a welcome change for me. Now, mix that with the uh, upcoming Major League Baseball playoffs and the World Series, plus the welcome return of NFL telecasts, and the good times for TV watching are here. And that's what I'm here to help you to know what to watch. In upcoming episodes of TV Beat, I'm going to try to point out some of the um, of the good news shows and uh, some of the bad programs that uh, have been added to the new fall seasons. Now, I hope to be able to point out the bad ones before they get canceled, but uh, over the years I've seen things get canceled uh, in, while they're being aired for the first time. Uh, of course, uh, that means I'm, I'm going to have to try to stamp on this stuff as much as possible. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, look at those shows in future episodes. But for tonight, uh, I've got a lot to talk about as far as syndicated programming. So I'm going to take a break now, and after the break, I'll be back to talk to you about uh, something that's happening in local television that seems to confuse the living daylights, daylights out of people every uh, September. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Nice Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. Nice easy it's easier than this, or this, or even this. For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. All right, most people have come to realize that September is a month when new TV season starts. And during this time of the year, the main focus is on the new shows that the networks will be launching to fill the holes left by programs that were canceled or ended their run last year. Now, all of this happens in the primetime hours of 8 to 11 p.m. Now, what's been confusing to a lot of people over the years has been the changes that happen during the daytime and in the hours just before prime time starts. Now, the networks offer some programming during the day, like, oh, let's say ABC's The Chew or Today on NBC or Let's Make a Deal on CBS. But there are some open hours, some holes in the schedule. Now, these are filled by local TV stations with syndicated programs. These syndicated programs include talk shows, judge programs, and even reruns of programs that have been airing in prime time. That's why you can see a program like, oh, let's say, The Big Bang Theory on CBS in the evening and then see reruns of past shows during the day, really on, a, on numerous channels. Now, that's the part that confuses some people. What you have to remember is that, the, uh, that networks tend not to make much profit when a series is in production. Why? Well, that's easy. That's because there are all the costs to pay for the writers, the directors, and those pesky actors. There are no such costs once the show has been filmed. So the big money is made when the studio that created that program sells the show through syndication to the more than 200 TV stations across the country. Now, they also often sell the shows to foreign countries to also make money. 
Syndicated shows come and go as new programs build up enough episodes to be able to be shown uh, on a daily basis, such as the, uh, as the ABC comedy The Goldbergs. It's entering its fifth season. There are a lot of shows. There are openings when new syndicated shows no longer draw viewers, and they get canceled. Or the reruns have been uh, repeated so many times, the show needs to take a break to give the audience a chance to catch their breath. Now, on a rare occasion, a syndicated show will get a revamp, as in the case of the daytime talk show hosted by Steve Harvey. Now, his show that was filmed in Chicago has been the old typical daytime talk show. You know what I'm talking about, focused on ideas for the home, health, nutrition, all that stuff. Well, that's changed. Harvey's moved his talk show to Los Angeles. Now, he told me at the TV Critics Tour that the idea is to make the show more like a nighttime talk show with celebrity guests. Now, it's always been Harvey's dream to host a late night talk show, and uh, when they didn't come around and offer him anything like that, he decided, well, what I'd do is just revamp his daytime program. I asked Harvey, what's the biggest concern about making that kind of big change? And he told me, it's the guests. A celebrity will cancel because of a million different reasons, but uh, an average person, say, looking to hype a book or a record or something, they'll show up no matter what. Now, there'll be more on Harvey's new show later. When it comes to syndicated program, KFSN has had the best track record. Now, the local ABC station will again not be adding any new syndicated programs. That's because when you have two juggernauts like, oh, let's say Jeopardy and the Wheel of Fortune that continue to be major draws, you don't need anything else. And there aren't a lot of changes at KSEE and KGPE. The big change for K, uh, Fox 26 is that Steve Harvey show, now just called Steve, will be moving to the 2 p.m. weekday slot. That's bumping off the Harry Connick talk show. The 3 p.m. weekday slot that Steve Harvey had will now feature back-to-back -back episodes of Judge Judy. Uh, we'll have more on, you, on that later for what, uh, why Judge Judy is moving to a new local channel. Now there's also changes at KFree. They also have to do with uh, courtroom reality shows making a move. Hot Bench will be moving to KFree with back-to-back -back episodes airing at 4 p.m. weekdays. And Judge du Judy will also be broadcast on KFree, taking over the 6 p.m. time slot where The Middle had been airing. And the 6.30 p.m. time slot previously uh, held uh, for reruns of Mike and Molly. So I've contacted all the management people, and that's what seems to be what's going on right now as far as syndicated programs. But there's still some, some jiggling going on, so I'll keep you updated. I know all this can be confusing, so I've asked somebody who knows what this is all about, and uh, Bob Jenkins, who's the program director for KAL, to join me so he can tell me what, uh, what's going on with his stations because they're making some real major changes this year. So I'm, I'd like to, uh, to thank Bob for joining me. Well, Bob, thanks for being my guest tonight. I Thank really you. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Before we get around to, and I've been talking about syndicated programming all along so far in this show, but before we get to the syndicated programming for your your station, okay. I want to know a little bit about you, let people know about you. How Me. You, are you from Fresno, or did you? Uh, well, basically, I, well, I got here when I was nine. Dad moved us out here when, when, when I was nine, so I've been in Fresno since uh, since 74. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, a college? Uh, City College here in, okay. in town. Now, did you study TV broadcast? I did. I, st I was studying television in high school. Clovis West at the time had a TV studio, and uh, I did all four years uh, doing that. And uh, I went to City College, and they didn't really have a class, but they had a club. And uh, also I, I used um, some of the credits that I gave to do an internship. I kind of finagled away to a year-long internship at KFSN. Oh, Okay. So you've been in t TV now how long? Oh, boy. I've been at KAIL for about 32 years. Wow. And I was working at cable and a couple other places oh, a few years before that. So was KAIL in color when you started there? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah. barely. But we were still using – the odd thing about KAIL back then is that they were using a transmitter that was built for black and white and converted to color. Oh, my gosh. We were using a transmitter up until we switched to digital that was built in 1949, yeah, something yeah. like well, that. Well, when did you get your current job? Uh, as program director, oh, that would have been about 1996. Wow, so you've seen, what, 21 years of 
different pro- syndicated programming then. Yeah, yeah. That's a long time. I, and, and it really has changed over those years, hasn't it? What, you know, the landscape has definitely changed. I mean, there were only a, a handful of networks, three networks when I got started. Right. And then Fox jumped in, and then you had... Uh, UPN and WB, and then they merged and became CW, and then we wow. picked up. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Well, it's some big changes this year for you as far as syndicated programming. I want to get right. to that, but I've got to take a quick break. So we'll be back in just a moment to find out uh, what Bob and I have been talking about for 19 years uh, now, uh, every, once a year. So be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing RotoSweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as RotoSweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original RotoSweep for just $19.99. The original RotoSweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld RotoSweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Well, welcome back to TV Beat with Rick Bentley. Tonight's, uh, my guest tonight is Bob Jenkins from KAIL-TV. Bob, thanks again for being here. My pleasure. I wanted to bring you on because this show's been dedicated to syndicated programming. And I talked earlier in the, in the program about how it often confuses people, how they can see a, a uh, show like Big Bang Theory at night and then see it on during the day. And right. they don't know what is what. So I, over the years at the, at the B, I would always have to explain to people what syndicated programming was. Right. Do people understand that with you? Do they know that, that it's what, what it is you're filling in the holes with? It has to come with an explanation, yeah. Uh, you, I have received some of the same confusion. So I have to explain that uh, if a show, you have the off-net syndication, then you have the live or the, uh, the, the other syndication, like Maury Povich and uh, Judge Judy, which it's produced to be in syndication, right. so it's not on a network. And then you have the off-net syndication. Those are shows that were on the network that built up a library of shows. Generally takes about four years of being on the network before then they built up a library of, of, of programs that those would then go into syndication. So while you're watching um, the Goldbergs on uh, the network, right. and the first run shows while it's on the network, the library of episodes from years one, two, three, and four are now in syndication or will be this uh, September. It still confuses people. So, yeah. uh, But again, of all the local television stations, uh, I had discussed earlier that uh, the, the uh, network stations fill in some during the day. They, they provide some programming to some. the stations, but mm-hmm. there's holes. You have, a, you have probably more openings than others. Is that correct to say? Oh, that's absolutely correct to say, yes. Uh, our network is two hours a night, five nights a week. Okay. Other than that, we're filling in with syndicated programming. Okay, so this year and this year you're making some big changes. I've I've, I've looked at, at, at the at the uh, titles you're adding to your 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 fall lineup, and it's a, it's a diff- it's going to be a real different look for your station. Can you talk about the change? Yes. Well, um, you know, we for many years um, had the best court show in the country on in Judge Judy, and we had two hours a night of Judge Judy, an hour of Hot Bench, and uh, we're no longer going to be having those shows. We're going to make a switch. We've um, been able to obtain the rights to some, what I consider some really big hitters in sitcom, off-net sitcoms. We've picked up uh, Mom, and that will air uh, weekdays at uh, and, six. And, and, and that's the CBS show with Anna Ferris. That's the CBS right. show with it, right, exactly. Okay. Uh, so that'll air uh, uh, six and 6.30. Um, before that, at 5 and 5.30, we're going to have the Goldbergs, which I had mentioned earlier. Right. Um, we've At 4 and 4.30, leading into that, we picked up King of Queens, something that we used to air on our station, mm-hmm. and we let go many, many years ago. We're bringing it back. So you're going to have King of Queens for an hour at 4. Right. You're going to have Goldbergs for an hour at 5. You're going to have Mom for an hour at 6. And then the big steal, the big, the big show, is we've got an hour of Friends. We've brought Friends over to KAIL at wow. 7 and 7.30. And does, do you feel like that's that's a, a, a better lead-in to your, to your evening program? 
Do you yeah. think it sort of matches up better to, to take you into that that might the TV programming? Right. The, the numbers skew a little bit younger than court generally do, and uh, they're very popular shows, and everybody loves to laugh. So we've got um, some very funny shows back to back to back that you can, I mean, once you jump on with uh, King of Queens, you just ride the ride all the way through Friends and right into our network. Now, does the rest of your syndicated programming remain the same during the day? Did everything during the daytime, uh, through the earlier hours, did that change any? Or Well, we're going to move Maury a little earlier. Mm -hmm. um, Maury's going to be at 11 and noon. And then uh, we've got um, a new show called Top 30 coming in at... Um, at one o'clock. Okay, before you go on, yeah. Top Thirty is a new show. What, a new, what is it? It's a new news show. It's okay. national news, but it's done in, a, in an interesting way, which is uh, very reminiscent of, of the way stories are provided on the internet. Very short, brief stories, um, uh, so that um, it, it, it's meant to hold your attention. The, the, the commercial breaks are very short. The commercial breaks are only a minute long, and they're going to hold your attention with a through the commercial break with additional information around the commercial break. Hmm. Very interesting. And then a countdown, kind of like when you see a, a, some of your internet stories where you see like a countdown when the when the commercial is almost over. Right. The commercials will have countdowns when we're going back into the show. Right. Off to the, so it's a very interesting. Followed by uh, Access Hollywood at tw uh, 1230. Then at, um, let me see, yeah. It, then we're going to have a couple hours of Mathis. Um, I'm sorry, not 12.30, 1.30. So 1 o'clock is top 30, One thirty is Access Hollywood, and then 2 and 3 o'clock are going to be, it's, it'll be two hours of Judge Mathis. Okay, now, uh, this is a lot of information to throw out there. Yep. Is there a place, is there a website people can go to to find out what your programming is? www.kail.tv or www.mycentralvalley.com. Com. Okay. Before we wrap up, this session section is about over. I want to ask you real quickly. I was watching, thinking the other day how syndicated has changed dramatically because there was a time when it was a lot of original one hours, like mm -hmm. Hercules and Xena and Star Trek and all that. What happened? Well, uh, we have those actually. But there's no new shows like that being produced, are there? Uh, yeah. The uh, no, there are. Uh, but a lot of them are being produced for cable, not for syndication. Cable okay. took a lot of those hours. Um, it had a lot to do with um, the deals they were getting out of Europe for the back end of those shows. So they would come into syndication, but they would have a promise for Euro European markets to buy those shows when they were done in syndication in the States. So they made up their money. They, they kind of broke even with what they did in the States, but they made their money when they went to Europe. Plus, a lot of networks have their own uh, streaming service. I know CBS Access is taking the new Star Trek show, yep. which probably would have been a syndicated program years ago. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, yep. well, listen, it's a lot of, a lot of, sounds like a lot of fun entertainment coming up for you. It's a big change, and I appreciate you coming on to tell the people about it because, again, it seems to confuse people for at least a month or so until they sort of settle in and know, oh, King of Queens is on now. So. Right, right. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. I do appreciate it. You're right. It can be confusing for the viewers out there, and so if we can kind of work through that confusion a little bit, you know, give us a call at the station if you'd like to. Uh, uh, to, for more information about our schedule. Okay, appreciate it. Well, that's it for this segment. I'll be back in just a few minutes with some uh, news that's going on in the area. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, Paul Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing savings, Paul Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. You know, one of the most interesting things about reporting on television and radio here has been the chance to watch the number of people from this area who've been able to find work in TV and films. Now, the most recent local to land a, a, a really a major acting job is Miles Gaston Villanueva, who will portray Lyle Menendez in the new NBC series Law & Order True Crime, The Menendez Murders. Now, the series will uh, look at how Lyle and Eric Men uh, Menendez were uh, convicted in 1996 for the murder of their parents. Villanueva, who went to Golden West in Visalia and graduated from Fresno State, uh, began his career working in uh, professional uh, regional theater. But he went on to work in television. He, he played Luca Santori on The Young and the Restless and previously guest starred on series including uh, 
Chasing Life, uh, Jane the Virgin, and Rosewood. Now, I had a chance to talk with Villanueva about the, at the recent uh, Television Critics Association press tour and asked him why he thinks this story still gets so much attention after the, so many years. And he said, and I'm quoting, there's so much that was not in the media, so much a lot of you didn't see covered by the media that we are showing. Uh, these private behind closed door moments, lots of them, that we get to share. We get to tell that story, and I think that offers a lot of power to our story, end of quote. So here's a look at Law & Order, True Crime, the Menendez murders, and you'll see uh, the, our, our local actor in it. Beverly Hills has been rocked by a drama. Jose and Kitty Menendez. Your parents left you $14 million. Lyle bought a new Porsche, Eric a Jeep. And I'll take the gold and the diamonds on the dial. Maybe this is how the rich grieve. I thought I knew the story of the Menendez brothers. The further into it I looked, I realized there was so much I didn't know. Were there any problems recently between you and your parents? This is what a little sissy does. You didn't tell him, did you? He told me everything. How you shot your parents, where you brought the shotguns. Everybody thinks we were this perfect family. But we were a disaster. I want to lead the defense for both boys. You know, you watch the news, you're fed certain facts, and you realize there's a great deal that was going on that the public didn't know about, and we're trying to shed some light on those things. Two counts of murder have been filed against Lyle and Eric Menendez. This is not about the public, this is about ratings. There will be plenty of those twists and turns that knock the whole storytelling piece of it on its butt. It wasn't a question of if they did it, it was a question of why. You can see Villanueva's work when Law & Order True Crime launches at 10 p.m. Tuesday, September 26 on KC24. CMAC, the Fresno-based nonprofit organization, has partnered with local high school video production teachers and students to broadcast 12 high school fall sporting events, including football, boys' water polo, and girls' volleyball. They've done this for several years now. Now, the events will be broadcast live on CMAC's education channel, Comcast Xfinity Channel 94, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and stream live on CMAC.tv. Now, commentary for the football games will be provided by TV and radio veteran Fred Clark, former uh, Roosevelt head coach Dr. Uh, Jose Reyes, and former ABC 30 sports director Dan Taylor. It's a good lineup of people who are calling these games. Now, while CMAX staff will be on site for technical support and guidance, what's great about this program is that the video crew will be comprised entirely of students from Sunnyside, Roosevelt, Hoover, and Bullard High School. This is a great hands-on opportunity. Now, the broadcast schedule for the next couple of weeks includes uh, the, the first game you'll get to see is on September 15th at 725. Well, it's a football game between uh, Clovis East. They'll be playing at Sunnyside. And then on Friday, September 29th, also at 725, Hoover versus Highland in a game that will be played at Sunnyside. Now, there's more games and more uh, broadcasts to come, and I'll keep you posted on other planned broadcasts on future episodes of this program. Now, there are a couple of stories I reported on last week that are really worth repeating. Valley PBS and the Clovis Veterans Memorial District will be hosting a special event starting at noon on this Sunday. Uh, in connection with the broadcasting by the local public television station of the, uh, of the new 10-part uh, documentary on the Vietnam War uh, that was done by Ken Burns that's set to begin airing at 8 p.m. that night. Now, those who attend the event to be held at the Clovis Veterans Memorial District Building at 808 North 4th Street in Clovis will be able to view art by Vietnam veterans, visit booths for Valley veterans, uh, services organizations, and community groups uh, offering outreach services. They can also attend a performance by uh, the AUSA Sounds of Freedom Band, and you can they can walk on an oversized map of the Vietnam region and sign where they... Uh, where they served while in country. 
Vietnam veterans will also be asked to record their, their personal memories on a video in a testimonial area during the event. And finally, back to CMAC. The local facility, I love the story, is giving the public a chance to learn about TV production and get their work shown on cable. Uh, CMAC is hosting a 12-hour film race. The event challenges budding filmmakers to create a three to five minute short film. You have to do it in under 12 hours. Now the competition will start at 9 a.m. Saturday, September 30th, which means it has to be done by 9 p.m. Uh, films will be judged and cash prizes there's cash, will be awarded to the special screening event at 6 p.m. Thursday, October 5th at CMAC. Hey, first place gets $500, $250 for second place, and $100 for third prize. It's worth your time. Now, the films will be judged on quality, not how fast they get made. This competition is open to the public, so just contact CMAC for more details. All right, that's the news for this week. I'm going to take another break. I'll be back in a moment. <music> News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Prager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Ginza's Finer Dining is a culinary pleasure for fans of Asian cuisine. Our menu features interesting textures, aromatic flavors, combined with beautiful presentations wrapped all together in a sophisticated atmosphere to make your visit here a memorable experience. Ginza, it is a masterful mix of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, sushi, and hibachi grill style dishes. We hope you enjoy eating at Ginza as much as we enjoy serving you. You know us, we're the Fresno Breakfast House, a great place for breakfast or lunch. Did you know we have a beautiful banquet facility? The Grand Banquet Room, adjacent to the Fresno Breakfast House. It's one of Fresno's newest event venues. Our location makes the perfect event center for bridal and baby showers, birthday parties, award ceremonies, family reunions, holiday parties, and conferences. Our lovely venue includes AV equipment and can host up to 130 guests. We combine casual elegance with unbeatable values. Call the Grand Banquet Room for your next occasion. Richards, a valley dining tradition, serving great food since 1969, including Richard's famous deluxe dinner for two, multiple choices at a fixed price, great tasting steaks or seafood, Richard's deluxe dinner for two, a favorite, it even includes wine. A Central Valley dining tradition on historic Belmont off 180. Follow our neon sign to Richard's where you'll find something special and something good right on the menu. Well, I can't believe we got another show in the in the bank. Uh, I'd like to thank Bob Jenkins for stopping by to help me clarify some of the confusion that seems to surround the uh, whole world of syndicated program. I also want to thank NBC for that clip from uh, the Law and Order. So also, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Your support is so greatly appreciated. Now, whether you've seen the show for the first time or you've seen every episode, I don't care. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do need you to keep uh, spreading the word that TV Beat with Rick Bentley is being broadcast on KGMC Channel 43.5, also known as Antenna TV. Now, the first airing of the, of the show will always be it's on Saturdays at 6.30. Uh, check out my website at www.rickbentleytvbeat.com for other details and uh, some other little treats. Uh, it's very important to hear from you, so please contact me by just sending an email to rb at r uh, rickbentleytvbeat.com. So until next week, happy TV viewing. I hope you've got the syndicated thing down. I've done the best I can to clar clarify for you, but if you've got questions, send them my way. See you next week. <laughs>